Hi right, guys, so it's been a little while. Um, we're back out, I've got the two boys with me today. Yeah. They've done some school work this morning. Yeah. And as they've completed all that this morning, brought them out with me out the woods. Um, so yeah, we'll bring you back in a bit. So yeah, we've uh, arrived where we're going to camp up in the woods today. Um, I'm just having a bit of my coffee, which I bought out in the thermos with me. While getting a little fire area prepped. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, boys have found a, a branch that goes over a, a sinkhole in the woods. With a tree that's fallen over it, using it like a bridge. We've obviously got a, I'll show you, a bit of a, make to lean to shelter type thing going on there. Um, there's actually more and more of these since we started doing our one. Um, there's more and more of them popping up all through these woods now. Um, I mean, it's, it's not massive wood. There's a lot of kids in the area um, and obviously they like the idea of it. Uh, there's a couple of scout groups um, locally to us as well. Um, and they do it. Um, I've offered to help them out and show them a few tips and tricks, um, which have done so. But uh, yeah, so there's a few of these popping up here and there. Occasionally I still see one that's a, a little bit dangerous. So I tend to take it that down or just correct it and tie it off with a bit of um, jute twine, um, just to make it a bit more safe in case whoever it is that built it decides to come back. Oh, sorry, a, bit, a little bit out of breath walking up here. Um, hope you're all alright though with this uh, COVID-19. So today I've bought, um, I've bought out my water backpack, 5 litre water backpack. Bought out my day patrol backpack bag, which my phone is sitting on. Um, Riley's bought his RAF platoon bag. And Harley's just got a little... Um, army type bag so for those of you that watch my channel been subbed for a while leave comments likes thumbs up shares etc etc um, I'm doing a giveaway for 500 um, I'm going to be giving away one of these I've got it in my bag here um, brand new unused thermos uh, cup so basically, that it's, it's the brilliant. I love it. I think it's brilliant. Um, I use it for work. Sorry, you slipped them. So yeah, I, I use it for work. I use it for coming out. Um, it, it's, it's good for everything, to be honest. So let's see if I can just get that out for you. <laughs> right. So yeah, we're um, going to do a bit of cooking today. I was just going to do a coffee and that was it. But kids were like, oh, can we have something to eat? So, um, I mean, obviously, you probably all know there's not much in the shops with the COVID-19 at the moment. So, and for those of you that saw the other day, uh, on my Facebook, I posted pictures of Canterbury. Of crackers because I wanted some cheese and couldn't get any and it was the only cheese I could get hold of so yes I have more cannabis with me today um, uh, uh, there. I just found the mini tripod um, gloves. might have a little shoot about with some catapults today here it is right so this is going to be the giveaway um, as you see brand new it's got the leaflet inside it and um, I'm not gonna open it but uh, yeah hopefully 
you'll uh, all want to get involved with that. So just uh, keep watching and I'll give you the details throughout the video, bits and pieces here and there. And then at the end of the video, I'll give you the last segment to, um, so you can see what it, what it is you need to do. But I'm standing next to this little, little tiny branch coming straight out of the ground. And as you can see, all the little buds are starting to blossom up now. Lovely. That bit's dead. That bit's dead. That bit's dead. Encouraged to grow for a bit better by taking off the dead ones. And that, that one there's completely dead. Yep. Well dead. So yeah. If you're about Obviously, like I say, um, kids are over there just playing on this log that runs along. There's a sinkhole just there, and that log goes from one side to the other, where a tree's falling down. But as you can see, just there, there are a few trees, and they're leaning that way. We've had some high winds. Um, and you can see down here as well, look, some upturned roots on stuff that keeps falling over. So, Riley, what's all that blue rope down there, look? I don't know, go and untie it, please. That's, like, not good. Untie it and bring it back, yeah? So, as you can see... I can't stand that when you can see blue rope that bad tied around live trees some of them are alive some of them are dead by the look of it but no that's uh that's going home and in the bin so anyway i'm gonna uh get to making a small fire base down here and uh get a little fire going we're gonna make a uh, cowboy coffee we've got some beans we're gonna grind up and we're gonna uh, make a nice coffee uh, um, we're also gonna you might have already seen it already but we're also gonna cook a bit of meat um, boys have bought some noodles to go with their meat and we've got a couple of other bits as well to go with it but yeah bring it back in a sec so hi so yeah, we've uh, just done a flint and steel fire, which you've obviously missed, because I forgot to press the record button. Um, if it wasn't for Riley, I'd still be talking away, nutting away now, not knowing a thing. Just goes to show sometimes, uh, you're not always on the ball, even though you think you are. So yeah, I used a uh, flint steel to get this going with some jute twine and a piece of char charcoal off. Sorry I didn't get it on camera, but... <sighs> As they say, life doesn't always pan out. A bit like COVID-19. I don't think it pans out exactly how everyone's wanted it to. Everyone thought, oh yeah, it's just going to come and go. Well, unfortunately, it hasn't just come and gone. It's come, destroyed, and still keeps coming. So, you anyway, know, we're going to get some coals going. Um... water and stuff ready for some cooking Riley just found <laughs> Riley's a pineal knife which I sharpened for him I've left the point off of it and just rounded it off it's a very sharp point by Justin it's just not like a, a poking point
So, uh, this is my uh, British Army knife. Not really used it yet, to be honest. Thought I'd bring it out today. Along with the Mora first time use. But, uh, thought I'd bring it out today. Maybe if I get a chance to use it, I will do. Um, not, uh, not so keen on the case for that. But, uh, yeah. So anyway, how are we all doing during the corona? Thank you, Riley. Right, we've got some carrots in there, some corn cobs, some noodles. I'm sure there's more noodles in your bag, Riley. Should yeah, be another packet. Riley, how about we eat our noodles on there, on that cheese roll? Open it in like the house. My knife and fork. So, as you see, Oh, smack my cup a little bit. Got the fire going just there. Uh... Yes, Wayne. I still haven't got a leather case for it, but I have been looking after it, mate. Still bloody sharp. I did a a little tiny uh, yard set that I wanted. Yeah, you should be wearing them, Riley, if you're carving. What are you carving? The peg? Why didn't you get the mat out? There's a mat. If you look in my thing, there's a proper mat, nearly mat. No, in my one. This one here. A proper nearly mat in the big bag. Put the lid open. Carefully, because all the stuff fall out the lid there. That grey bag with the orange stripes on it. That's it. Um, so we've got our fire going, I'm just going to prepare some food now. Yeah, it will be like that because it gets stuffed up into the bag. So we've got a couple of mushrooms, this would be mainly for me, these items I would imagine. I love for you to sit on. We got some miniature corn on the cobs. Oh yes, lovely chili pepper, some salt, and vinegar, and pepper in there. We have some steak spice there. We have some garlic piri piri sauce. You know what's coming. We also have. I was at them in there. Got some large sticks. We have a ribeye. So that should be nice and interesting. Time. We'll get that on there. Obviously, we have our cannon bear as well. Now that, we're going to keep that. Because believe it or not, that comes in handy for all sorts of little things. A few pinprick holes in that. Ideal for batch tapping, things like that. Well, season's nearly over for the batch tapping now though. So what we're going to do so we're actually going to just take this cannon bear out of the plastic wrapper. You don't want to, don't want to cook it in there. Wouldn't be, uh, wouldn't be too good. You cold, Harley? Yeah. Why are you fidgeting then? So it's something we can take home. And what we're going to do is this one here. Can you see me? Yeah. We 
doesn't burn yeah some of these in my uh, camelback sorry if you can hear loads of people gonna rest that on there like so I was gonna do it straight on the coals but uh Up that end. We'll move it right in the centre there at the front. Well, looks like there's people out here foraging some wild garlic. So like I'll say, we're going to leave that in there. Going to cook that cheese. You probably can't see a thing. That's better. So yeah, we're just going to leave that cooking away in there. What do you got? Knows that. Um, and we're gonna. Where's the meat? There. Carrots have probably seen better days, to be honest. The last couple I had at home, and there wasn't any at Sainsbury's yet again. So, yeah. Not so good. No, Harley likes these little corn on the cobs. So, just move them to the side there for a second. So, obviously, uh, some of you may know I've had a, a bit of a troubled time recently. Hence why I've not been doing very many videos. Um, well, I've not done any videos actually for, I don't know, maybe two months now, I think. Um, so, I'm sorry about that. Hopefully, the coronavirus won't stop any of us from uh, getting out and doing videos. I know a friend of mine, Justin, JJ North Arts uh, Bushcrafter, JJ has been out. Uh, Ash Outdoors has been out. But in London or Outdoors, he's been out a couple of times as well, I think. Um, I think a lot of us are beginning to worry about being on... Uh, a lockdown really though. Just put it on me so you can see me talking so yeah. yeah I think a lot of us are more worried about being on the oh, no, it's got a bad bit in it. I'm just throwing the carrots into the woodlands by the way, what the the shredding us. Spreading it about for the animals. Um 
Theo, like I say, a few of us have been getting out and about. Gary, Cover, uh, Gary Coverdale's been getting out and taking some fantastic pictures. He's always got some fantastic pictures on his channel. Um, so, yeah. It's, uh, I suppose it depends more on where you are and as to what you can to do and achieve. Um, I mean, here in, in just out of London, I suppose you'd call it, um, in Croydon, I'll tell you, Croydon, is, uh, isn't the best at the moment, to be honest. Trying to get food for the family, for the kids. Mental. Is, like Riley just said, mental. So, what I'm gonna do now is, um, I've got chilli pepper, let's see I've got steak. So I'm just gonna stab some holes into this steak, like so. Big chunk of fat there. Oh, I might put that on a bit early. I might take that off for a minute. Uh, Riley, do you want to get some twigs for fire, or Harley? Oh, yeah. Dead ones, yeah. So, yeah. Like I was saying, uh, I don't want a big fire, we just want some coals. Um, it's a nice coal bed. Um, and then, what I'll do is just stuff these chilies into these little knife holes I've made. Some of them are going in. I got five in there. Right. Well, bring them here then, because I've got to get them on the fire. Just put them down there, get some more. Tuck some inside that big block of fat that was there. So if you was out for a few nights in the car with that big block of fat, I'd be extremely welcoming. So yeah, I like a, a good spicy bit of meat. It's not everyone's game, obviously. Excuse me. Right. So steak spice. Good bit of steak spice over the top. Good bit on the other side as well. I want to do is lay these over there for a minute, like so. Carrots as well, I've stabbed them a couple of times, I nearly did it on my leg, would have been clever, wouldn't it? Yeah. I couldn't find the uh, my actual um, 
chopping board that I made today, not with everything we've been packing away and moving about and so on and so on. Got some more. Thank you, Harley. You're welcome. Oh, I can't stop the nose from Mushrooms upside up, and the reason being is because we got a few little bits of vinegar. Yeah. And then for the pièce de résistance. Yes, the resistance and salt and pepper. And some salt. Didn't have much pepper in that, did it? So yeah, I might need a couple more of them peppers out of that. Ah, uh, what the hell. There's only two and one left anyway. There we go. I've got a couple of battles in there as well. Um, in fact, actually, we'll get them out, chuck them in there. And we use this little bag as our rubbish bag. All these little coffees can go in there as well. It's not actually using them. Base of the knife, not the tip, the base of the knife. Um, the knife. This part, using the base of the knife and you're yeah. scraping it. Yeah. I was close to that. It was, it was there, but it was the, the stick itself was rotten where you were trying to do it from. Which is why it kept breaking like it did. I wouldn't do some carving. I haven't got you a safety knife yet, Harley. Oh. I know you want to have a go. And we will do it. But if you can just wait while I'm doing this, yeah. And then we'll borrow an O'Reilly's knife to do it. And Riley can carry on with mine because he knows what he's doing with it now. But obviously, I can't just let you use my ones because they're a bit big and a bit sharp. And I don't want you to slip and have an accident. Okay? <sighs> So, as I was saying before, um, we'll get back to our chat about how you've all been doing. Obviously, the coronavirus is hitting the country quite hard at the moment. Um, I mean, the boys are off school now. Had a lesson with mum this morning, didn't you, for an hour yeah. or so? Yeah, it's like 45 and, minutes. Yeah, 45 minute hour, whatever. So we're, we're homeschooling now, uh, as far as I know, until further notice. Um, the school have given us like a a website blog and 
Fun packs, um, blue. Fun packs, yeah, like Riley said, fun packs, and a couple of other bits and pieces. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's going to be fun. Um, I mean, Kian, obviously, for some of you that know, he's um, he's autistic, so him being at home and having to do school works, Hard. it's different for him. It's not what he's used to. But I gotta admit, this morning he was pretty good about it, wasn't he? So, I mean, he's doing spellings and things like that, trying to sound out letters. Um, just so that we can... Absolutely typical, wherever I go. Let's pick it up. So yeah, wherever, um, wherever things go, really, it just seems to be one of them things. Um, So, but how are you coping? Have you got children? Are, are you homeschooling them? You know, that's that's here. Have, have you got any advice? Have you uh, have you been struggling trying to buy the food that you want to buy, um, or toilet roll for that matter? Um, I don't know why toilet roll went so mad the way it did, but. Everybody who seemed to go out and buy toilet roll, didn't they? We couldn't get none in any of the shops, could we, for days? Mm. But luckily, we were, we were just been shopping just before it had been. We normally buy sort of like a big packet to last us through the month, and then if we need a bit to top it up, we go out and get a four pack. So uh, everyone was going out buying it, so we went out and bought a couple of four packs extra on top just because of what was happening, and everybody else was buying it out. So yeah, it's, uh, it was quite mad actually, to be honest. Riley, do you want to get the um, Yugoslavia mess kit out, please? The green bag. Out of your bag. So, um, so yeah, it's uh, it's been an adventure, really, I think, shopping, to be honest. I mean, Wendy, she doesn't like uh, going up and down each and every aisle anyway. Whereas I don't mind, I don't mind looking for a bargain. Um... But, uh, that's it, open it up. Yeah, I've got no problems looking for a bargain or anything like that. Open it up then, I've got, you've got to get it out, we've got to boil some water. Want some coffee, didn't we? Um, so yeah, Riley's just doing the uh, Yugoslavian mess kit. It's one of my favourite mess kits, to be honest. Um, Absolutely love it. Brilliant mess kit. Keep going. No, it's upside down now. So the fire's starting to rock a bit now. Yeah. Fill it up with water. About that far below the top. One. The metal one. Um, so yeah, we're gonna um, brew up a bit of coffee now. Um, bought some beans, we can do it cowboy style. So, uh, should be quite interesting because uh, I didn't bring a percolator with me today. But what I did bring Is was... Yeah, I bought the the coffee grinder, as you can see, I'm really good. Uh, and it's got whole got whole coffee, whole coffee beans. beans inside. Um, and then it grinds up into dust. Yeah, that's it. Right in the middle. That's it. Just so like that. And then if you get that lid, the green pot, that's it. And then that, on there like that, it's the lid. So that's how I use it. Yes, it does get hot, but it acts as a lid boils the water much, much quicker. You have to excuse this, I just can't stop sniffling. Um, been like it for days now. Um, so yeah, I'm just letting the sun get to my 
salt and vinegar, bits and pieces. Warm wood there for a fire. Riley, do you want to grab some decent bits of wood for our fire? There's some there. Where? Not holding it. Yeah, I know, that's what I grabbed. But it's not going to last long. Hmm. we got to cook a steak and that, yeah, and boil needles up. We need to find Harley, where's the metal cup? Yeah, I found another insect. So. Yeah, like I say, the boys wanted to uh, have some noodles for lunch. Mm. They've got. He loved. Why do you love noodles so much? Uh, I think it's in Riley's bag. Oh yeah, it is in Riley's bag actually. I think. Because um, noodles kind of taste like spaghetti, and I like spaghetti. Okay, well you got what flavour you got there? Beef, beef flavour noodles. Beef. 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 <laughs> That's right, I need a metal cup to boil your water for noodles. If you want noodles, what otherwise... Thing? you got sticks. <laughs> They're pokers. Pokers. They're, um... I can't even remember what you call them but now, but, yeah. Pokers. Stick them in tiny things. I don't know, but you can put them over the fire, like that. Right. But, uh, it's not ready yet for that. Cup, Harley. So, yeah, once I eventually get a cup from Harley, I can actually boil some water. Um, for these noodles, there it is. Thank you, uh, Riley. Hmm? Water and noodles in. Harley, is there another packet of noodles in that bag? Uh, yeah, if you want to, yeah. That's the ones. And then, if you look in the pocket that side, there's a tin of milk. Evaporated milk. Give that here. So yeah, we're gonna crack on with this for a minute while we get smoked out and bring you back. Like I say, I only, I only really need some decent coals, really. So that's all I'm having the fire for is just to get some coal birds going. I'll top it up in a minute. Once the coffee's and that's done with some slightly thicker wood, Riley's going to saw me some thicker wood with the uh, the F one eighty silky saw. Don't know if you'll be able to read that on the blade. Very good, very very good saw. This is really like this saw. It's lightweight, works a treat. <laughs> I did. It's not that stiff. It is. Have you done it? Mm. Give it here. It's me or my hands are slipping. Your hands are probably slipping on it. It's either it's done it so tight or I just have to use That's Harley's on that is. Yeah, I know. I'm right. asking for help with my hands. So yeah, just keep an eye on our water for our coffee. Like I say, spring is really starting to bloom now. Little buds popping up on all the trees. It's absolutely brilliant. You can hear the bird song when the kids ain't shouting at each other. <laughs> um, let's do it for that. Give it to the side. Let a bit more air get in there. Yeah, and then when I'm on the way back, I'll come. So this is my little steak fork, not a bolt. And the little steak knife. And you run like that. You run straight up. You run straight up. So their noodles aren't far off of being done actually already. <laughs> Put a bit more water in them. Good thing about having these uh, carry more 
backpacks. A little tap on there. Turn it on. Open it up. And I can just fill that back up a little bit. And you can hear how fast that's coming out. Um, but yeah, brilliant little pack. Wear it on your backpack, add it to your backpack with some D rings, D shackles, and things. It's really good. But uh, yeah. Then close the tap again once it's done. Oh, not very good with my left hand. And then obviously, if I squeeze that, nothing else comes out. Cap back on. A little bit back in there, gives that proper bit of water, that's better. So I might have a look around in a minute, see if I can find some garlic. Um, I need to get myself a Collins book, um, Collins Gems book I think it's called, um, Wild Food uh, Foraging. So I need to sort that out at some point. But uh, yeah, uh, that's better. They're starting to, to make some proper headway now. With the fire. Starting to get some coals. I'll get some thicker woods in a minute. Get them on there, in there. I'll split down a little bit. Do that. One side of this fire is burning a lot better than the other side at the moment. So, we'll, uh, give it a bit of a helping hand. some uh, chunky bits cut up as Wiley's run off and then uh, we'll think about getting this steak on there oh, sitting too close to the fire way too close I do believe, yeah, their noodles are done. Give them a good stir around. <laughs> so, I mean, what do you think about all this social distancing for the corona? Do you think it's a, a good thing? Are you struggling with it? I know a lot of people, uh, We've shot off to the beaches and campsites and cottages and things like that, mass gatherings and stuff. And it's causing problems because uh, they did the same in Australia and, uh, and in Spain. And it now seems to be causing issues. Um, more people are catching it. Which... I mean, they're saying it's a good thing in one way and they're saying it's a bad thing in another because obviously certain people are okay to catch it um, and build up an immune, immune system to it. Because um, it's, I can't remember what the word was, but basically it's a, it's a mucus that seems to get into your 
your airways and it goes solid uh, and eventually stops you from breathing um, so yeah it could be a oh. right noodles uh, bring you back in a minute as we're getting a bit smoky sorry guys um, I, we've just finished making our coffees and dropping it and um, I forgot to video it so um, hence I've got coffee we might make another one in a bit though I tell you what though I like my cowboy coffee black but I really like it with uh, the Sainsbury's evaporated milk as well tastes absolutely fantastic with it it really does so uh, as I was saying how are you how are you all coping with social distancing being um, how can I say uh, self-employed and working for companies that are closing down at the moment I mean we could be looking at as much as 12 right up to uh, 12 weeks right up to July now I think is the possibility for us actually um, being able to go back to some sort of normality um, I suppose oh, look at that steak perfection let's get you on the rack Gonna get that on the rack because that's going on in a minute. So, get my mushrooms on the side as well. Oh, trying to get my corn and cobs on there, but. I don't want to lose them through the holes because it's like a swirly rack. Oh, there you go. And then a big bit of carrot there. The boys' noodles has got carrot and um, corn on the cob. Boys, coffee. So yeah, they're uh, they're doing all right. I've got some butter there as well. Do I want to put a bit of butter on there? Yeah, why not? Why not? Bit of butter. This is uh, courtesy of the fish and chip shop, actually. When you buy a bun, you get to. Uh... I feel pretty high. Right, you need to get cut, Harley, Riley or something because obviously you want your Madeline. Madeline. have you got a cup Riley I'm not sure if you have have you probably not yep you got one no oh. I have the bowl where's your metal cup gone then mine your cooking cup yeah mm -hmm. I have the bowl <laughs> yeah that's for eating your noodles mate I've still got to rewarm them back through yet. Put a bit of butter in there for you. So, all I've done is just three little knobs of butter in each of my mushrooms. And that's pretty much it for that. I just use my. Tap. Put it all down. That's better. Lovely. I do not want to stick your tongue out and say it at the same time. I live on a hide at the hip. Hardly didn't do it. 
How comes it, when I say it, kind of makes me sound like I'm swearing? That's because you're annoying. I just <laughs> it. So yeah, like I said, we'll probably um, come back to that in a short while. Um, Don't tell me you're done already, Harley. I'm going to uh, string my hammock up, I think, and have a sit down I'm and a cigarette. Already. Right, we'll give him another bit then. We'll make some more in a minute. I just want to get some food <laughs> done, get this fire, get some decent size. These are quite big logs. So yeah, we've had a bit of coffee, a bit of play about. So uh, as you can see, kids and angels are back on. Got some more water. Got my steak and my shrimps and my veg. Gonna give this a well oh, it's nice and soft already. So what we're gonna do with that now is uh oh, didn't want it to go down that far. This little uh, tripod I need to get better tripod really I think you see that so what we're gonna do if we can do it is before we get it overheated we're just going to break the seal on this cannon bear. That's it. It'll probably seal back up anyway. So as you can see, this is a brand new pot of cannon bear. This video has been so in and out of things I've been talking about. It's unreal. I hope that you haven't minded and you've managed to keep up with a think jumping to and from back and forward oh yeah there we go Do you know what? I might actually just take that out now leave that for the animals it might actually Look a bit quicker then. Oh, there's a baby spruce tree there. Just noticed. Oh, it is lovely cheese. That's about. So, yeah, as you can see, nice can of bear. We're going to bang that back on there. Right. I've put my shades back on because the sun's quite overbearing at the moment. Because I'm looking straight at it. Oh dear. Now, what I do want to do, just make sure... Oh, my veg. Ugh. My steak. There we go. That's better. Much 
much better. So as you see, TBS Wild Ball, great knife, absolutely fantastic knife. I've loved you having this knife. Um, it was given to me by a good friend on Facebook, Wayne Housley. Um, yeah, so now I'm wiping the blade of my trouser leg, but I'm doing it very carefully because I have sharpened it quite well, I must say. I need to get a decent case. I've made this one out of a cardboard duct tape sleeve wrap. It was nearly done, boys. Yes. So yours will be done soon. You said something quite tall. So what I'm going to do now is have a blue lid. I'm just going to fill with some water and just re-soak the cheese like so this is going to enable me to put it straight over the coals yeah. and not burn So yeah, Harley's finished his noodles, carrots, and uh, yeah, corn. corn on the cobs. Yeah. Mini corns on the cob. Yeah. Oh, dropped a three second roll, it's fine. for a minute. That's all of a sudden got really, really hot, really, really quick. So as you can see, the cheese is on. Gonna wait for that to warm through. I'm gonna take my steak off in a minute. Let it sit for a short while. 
while we wait for that cheese to heat up and melt in. Once it's melted, we can start dipping. I know I'm heating up the uh, evaporated milk a bit, but it's fine. Just trying to keep an eye on this steak. I don't want it to mm. overcook. Mm -hmm. <sighs> In fact, actually, I'm just going to... side than it is the other obviously where it's off to the side that little bit of calf just now just that, that little bit of a, a kick to it which was really nice from the chilies that I put in there there were three chilies hot chilies so obviously you saw quite a few stubbed the holes in stuffed them all in uh, all over the place the, that big knob of fat just there Nothing but fat, so to be honest, I ain't gonna eat that. Still more of it, there's that much of it. What's wrong with the fat? Nothing, it's just I don't want the fat. Why, do you want to try it? No. Try it. Mm -hmm. If you don't want that, give it to Harley. But you've got to try this. Just no. try it. No. It's only fat. No, I'm right. Okay, good. I'm not right because you just ate it. Yeah. 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 So, wooden knives and forks I've got from the chip shop. The kids, they can go on. Harley, why don't you go and sit back over on the other tree where you were? Go out and smoke. Off comes the steak. Let that sit there now. Oh. Any water? Is that a rinse out, please? Yeah, over there. So, yeah, let's take a picture of that. Riley's over there just finishing off Riley's vegetables uh, and a few needles because he's not over keen on vegetables, especially the carrots. But you can see what I've got the hammock up there. No one's gone in it yet apart from me. I thought Riley would have been in it by now, having a swing, swing swung. But I think it might be a bit high for him to climb in actually. Never say never. No, I didn't say never. I just said I think it might be. You don't have to take your shoes off. No, I'm not relaxing. Well, go on then. You should get in bum first. Go on, you're right. And there he is. Perfect rips them trees apart, really. So. Oh. What do you mean without your socks? You got your cheesy feet in my um, hammock. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Bit of 
of ash, but hey, who cares? It's only a little bit of ash. <sighs> that was yummy. Right, we'll rinse it out then. Who's, Chris, who's been eating the crisps? Not me. That'll be Riley then. Yeah. I saw him open a pack of crisps. So what I've got here in this pot is some... Uh, I couldn't get hot piri piri. So instead I've got this, which is garlic. So we're just going to pour a little bit on everything. still fairly spicy but it's not as spicy as obviously the hot one Get it roll around oh yeah um absolutely fantastic Good boy. Oh, that was hot. Oh, we're starting to get gooey. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, wow. Anybody else into uh, cheesy mushrooms? Oh my god. That is absolutely amazing. Now obviously, wow. It's going really good, really quick. <laughs> hey, look at that, you see that? Don't be silly. You will not get away from me, you piece of corn. Um. Coming in. Good bit of steak. Oh. I'm just being an animal with this, to be honest. Can you see that? Let's focus him. Can of mer cheese. And rump steak with garlic and chilies. Wow. That truly is amazing. I'm gonna leave that up there. Until I finish. So, still pink inside, just the way I like it. Some of you may say it's raw, it's not cooked or Sorry, if there's not blood coming out of it, I don't like it, to be honest. I've always been like it ever since I was a kid. That is truly, truly supreme. Um, really, really nice. Definitely worth a do again. Cannonbear. You could probably do this with any cheese, to be honest. Cannonbear might be a bit on the old uh, expensive side, but it was the only cheese I could get. Um, so I got two boxes of it. I ate one at home with um, crackers and toast and things like that. 
and uh, the other one I'm using here because it needs using. So. Harley, do you want to try a bit of steak? What? Do you want to try a bit of steak and cheese? Okay. Riley? No? What do you think? Good. Really good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. The only thing that's bad about it is because I don't like the cheese a lot. You don't like cheese? Not much. That's expensive cheese, Harley, that is. You should love it. <laughs> so a bit of a bit of a mix match. Oh, the cheese is bubbling now. Mm. Some Give this a bit of a level off a bit because uh... <sighs> I hope you're not breaking my hammock because Harley shouldn't be on it. Yeah, we'll come away from it then and wait. Come and do your washing up like you're supposed to. Uh, kids, who'd have them, eh? That's better. You can see me a bit better now. So, I've got another spider friend here trying to come and join me for dinner. Absolutely amazing. Where did he go? I don't know. So, I'm going to um, not make you watch me eat all of this because uh, I'm eating it like a pig, to be honest. Keep running out of breath, so I know that. Mm. And I'll bring you back when we're done. So we're at that time where it's uh, the giveaway time for one of these thermos cups. Like I say, brilliant cup. Um, lid. This is my one, by the way. Different types of rubber seals and still actually a bit of coffee in there. Still warm after being out here for three hours. So I'm going to be giving one of these away once I reach 500 subscribers. It's going to be the one that's in my bag. Riley, would you get Harley? Yeah. Would you go in my bag? This one here. Yeah. Quickly. Quickly, quickly, in the bag, yeah. and get one of these out with stickers on it. Okay. So I'll be giving one of these away for 500 subscribers. Um, once I reach that, I will do um, either a random comment picker or something along them lines. Yeah, something along them lines, random comment picker, or we'll sit down and write all the in invitation, uh, all the comments down, names of who it is. Um, what you've got to do is make a video. Everybody said, like, I, I don't want you to make a video. Do you know what? Scrap that. Because some of you don't do videos. 
which is fair enough. Not everybody, it's not everybody's cup of tea or coffee, should I say? Um, but I think what we'd do is in the comments below, if you want to win this, I'll send it anywhere in the UK. Sorry to you abroad and in America and uh, in Sweden. I know I've got a couple of followers in Sweden. Um, brand new, as you can see, the instruction leaflet's in there as well. Um, so, if you comment, I want that firmness. So not I'm in, but I want that firmness. You don't have to comment anything else. Um, it'd be nice if you comment on the video and what we've done or how was the food or whatever. But uh, if you want the chance to win this, just comment, I want that firmness in the comments. Uh, like I say, when I reach 500, we'll do a random comment picker and I'll send it to any anywhere in the UK so that uh, somebody can win it. No, you're not going to win it, Riley. What if I do? <laughs> you won't. That's cheating. <laughs> um, if you want one, we'll get you one. But what I'm saying is, this is the, for a giveaway for the channel. Can I help so, one? of course you can. You can you can help do the comment picker. Okay. So, yeah. So, like I say, last time, I want that firmness. Um, I'm not putting that I'm doing a giveaway into the title of this video or into my comment about the description about the video because I only want it to be for the people that actually watch, <laughs> like and comment on my videos. So as long as you've liked, you've watched, or you must have watched to be able to see it, um, and you put I want that firmness in, you're in with a chance. Um, so yeah. Good luck to you all. Um, there isn't many left for me to get to 500. I think it's 15 now. I think I'm on 485. So 15 more people sub with him. And uh, yeah, it'd be great. It'd be great to, to hit that 500 milestone. Um, things have been going slow for me recently. So uh, it'd be nice to just get over that hurdle. Ooh. All of a sudden the fires just kick back to life. A bit of wind's come through. Um, so yeah. If you get the cup, Brian, you can have another cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're going to uh, have our coffee and uh, have a, a good tidy up. And uh, we'll bring you back, I suppose, once we're tidied up and packed away. So we're just having a bit of catty practice. I'm between 10, 15 yards away. First shot. This is uh, my, one of my homemade hunting catapults. So yeah. So yeah. Oh yeah, don't forget drinking coffee. Two for two. Go three for three. Oh, just over the top. I'm running for it. I don't know, you start running. Huh? But you, you always get it first try. Normally with this cat, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, I missed it again. Right, so two misses. We're going to have a go over the Chinese bulk catapult. Yes, yeah, the one that I don't like. These I don't normally know. This is you haven't used this one. Yeah, well, one use the one that's it for you. Exact same as that. Oh, just down the side. You're missing all of a sudden. So this one isn't uh, as powerful as mine. Nowhere near, in fact. It's a much lighter band set. That's the one I use to use. With a my different camera. anchor point. So the anchor point on this one is, there you go. And you hit it. Just got to remember to change your anchor points. It's the easiest way to change direction. Rather than moving your hand around, 
One went right of, yeah? through the can. <sighs> went all the way through both sides. Yeah, that'll be off my other, that'll be off my hunter, won't be off of this. And again! <sighs> so once you get your anchor point in, so the anchor point is the bit that's holding the ball bearing <laughs> in the pouch. So once you get your anchor point and you know where your anchor point is, oh, just miss that one. You should be able to locate your target within millimetres every time. Occasionally you'll have a, a slip, you'll change your stance or the, the way you're standing, you'll, you'll lean forward maybe, um, and you'll miss. Um, and like I say, that's literally just because you, you just move ever so slightly. The slightest movement can throw you off by quite easily an inch like that one did. So, second miss, I'm gonna go back to my hunter, my homemade. Let's see if we can, uh... there you go, first shot. It's a much more positive um, anchor point for myself. My tip of my thumb now sits right deep into the corner of my mouth as my anchor point. Arm full stretched out. And that's it, last ball bearing done. So. As you can see, two different catapults. This one's my Hunter, homemade. This one's the one that's bought. Obviously the camera's right down, the, see if I can zoom in, that far away. It's about 15 yards. Yeah, about 15 yards. Obviously I've got to put my protection back on while I was shooting. But uh, yeah, so I think we're just gonna, uh, we've let the fire die out a bit now. I'm gonna pour some water onto that, dig it around, have a bit of tidy up. I'm gonna, have a quick fag and chill out. Uh, right, whose packet of crisps is that, please? Not mine. Where's yours? I didn't have one. All right, so Riley's in. So Riley, pick your crisp packet up, please. You know better than that. Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna chill out in my hammock for 10 minutes, let the kids muck around, have a run about. And then we're gonna okay. let the fire cool off a bit more while they're doing that. Okay. And uh, I'm probably gonna have a cigarette, to be honest. Hammock still sitting in the sunshine. Someone's been playing with my hammock. So, oh, if I can get in. Ah, oh, there we go. So yeah, in the hammock. I want a bit of that sunshine though. That's better. So yeah. See my face now. That steak and cheese with the mushrooms and the carrot and the uh, mini corn on the cobs was absolutely fabulous. We'll uh, I'll definitely be doing it again. Can't remember how much the cheese was though. To be honest, I know it was expensive more than your, your normal bit of cheese but uh, definitely worth it was worth it and it worked out well actually for that rump steak two decent sized mushrooms two corn on the cobs and pretty much a whole medium sized carrot it worked out really you be careful standing on that one because that one's pretty much had it um so yeah it works out really well um it's just the right amount of cheese um obviously the, the the wood from it and now i turned back over and i've left it on the fire it's eventually it's burnt down to cinders of nothing and the um the outer layer of the cheese like the i, I want to say it's mold um 
that grows around the outside of the cheese, but which protects it and keeps it fresh. I've discarded into the woods in pieces for the animals to do whatever they're going to do with. If they're going to eat it or not, I don't know. Um, but if if they don't, it should deteriorate quite quickly anyway. Um, but yeah, this is my view. How about that? One little white cloud, look. Little strip. Wow. I can hear a car from over there, unfortunately. There's a road there we didn't walk in too far. Um, just because I've been getting out of breath a lot. But, uh... It's been good to get out. It's been too long, I think, to be honest. Um, and I think Riley's moaning it's been too long, way it's too long. Do so you want to come back out again soon, do you? Yeah, nice. What, to do bushcraft and cooking? Yeah, it's been like eight, nine a month since I've done a YouTube video. Yeah. Riley don't do them no more. He's given up on his videos, but um, I need to come soon. yeah, well, if we come back out, maybe you can start doing your bushcraft videos again, can't you? Mm -hmm. So, it'd be nice to see. Where'd you put your knife? Down there, by the tree. Oh, right, okay. Did you make another peg or not? No, I couldn't find any top of wood. Okay, you want a nice green bit. Uh, maybe we can do it in another video. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll we'll see. We maybe we'll come up at the weekend. I mean, it's only Monday today, so we'll come up at the weekend and we'll do like a video for you, a peg making video. Yeah, peg and toggle. Well, you you can make a fire as well. Yeah, but what we do, we do a peg video. So we'll bring a tarp. Yeah, so you can peg your tarp down. And we'll do a toggle for the ridge line. So you can have an adjustable ridge line with a toggle. Yeah, and then you can put them back in your bag, take them home, and bring them back with you every time you come out. Yeah? Yep. So there you go. There's Riley's new video for next weekend. Um, mine? I don't know. We'll, we'll do something. I've got some, uh, I've got some things that I still need to do. I've still got a couple of videos that I need to do. I've got um, a couple of reviews actually that I need to do as well. So um, I'll get on that and we'll see what we can pick out next week. Um, at the weekend I may, as Riley's doing a top, I might even bring out the Lavoo. I need to play that. Um, so it's like, music to my ears. it's like music to your ears, is it? <laughs> um, so yeah, so we'll do that, and uh, we'll we'll sort something out. Good luck, everyone, with the coronavirus and everything that's going on at the moment with your shopping and family and friends. Um, those of you that are struggling with work, like myself at the moment, I'm completely out of work anyway. Um, have been since literally just before this happened. And now trying to get a job is damn near impossible because no one wants to hire anyone because you might have the coronavirus. So it's just been made ten times worse for me, um, to be honest. But um, my spirits have been lifted today coming out here, sitting out here doing this, cooking up a, a beautiful steak actually. And um, yeah, it, it's been it's been refreshing, really has. So goodbye, good luck, and I'll catch you all soon. Right, packed up now. Fires all dampened down, kicked out, and over. Boys are just getting packing the last bits of their bags up. Bit anything left behind? No. 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 All the rubbish is being taken back out with us, and we're heading back out. So this is a bit more of the view of uh, our A-frame.
Yeah. And it's not even got that This is that side of it as well. Especially the screen. Boom. Ah. Yeah. Good to later, people.